Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. But I'd pick up the camera vlog today. I had my Thrive order come in, so I want to show you guys what I got. I did a video, a few videos back of talking about hormone health. I ordered a few things to add into my morning routine. I've been really into trying to change some habits. For the past couple of months, I went down to just like one latte a day, two if I'm having one like mid-afternoon or if I'm going out with friends or something. I try not to drink coffee on an empty stomach, like just waking up and going straight to the coffee machine. But I ordered a few things. I want to show you guys what I got. First, I want to do my morning skincare. So I ordered at least patches here. Usually, I use the frownies. Those are like craft paper. Those can take a little bit of time to situate at the end of the night. I don't mind them, but... I thought, let me try this silicone reusable one from, I think it's from Pacifica if I'm not mistaken. And you can reuse it. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's thicker. And I feel like it might not be as flush. It does seem to be as effective. Like my forehead is super smooth when I take it off. I've been wearing it, you can see look how smooth it is. It prevents me from moving my muscles like these especially at nighttime. But sometimes like the edges lift, I don't like that. And then also, skincare like i feel like you can't really put skincare underneath because you can but it has to kind of soak into your skin because then otherwise i feel like it doesn't stick as well whereas with the frownies it doesn't matter it came in a pack like a tin box with some eye gels the eye gels i do not like at all i tried them and i thought let me try to save some money and try reusable eye gels but they're just so thick and they do not stick well at all especially if i have skincare underneath and the whole point is to be able to apply them, apply your skincare, and then apply these on top. Kind of have like a little self-care moment, but I don't know. Not for me, so I'm just going to stick to my usual. Let me try to set up my camera somewhere. I love either Patchology, which I like to put in the fridge or the freezer, or Wonder Beauty. I think I have a few left of those. These guys right here. These are really nice because they sit so flush against the skin and they do not move. So I think I'm gonna apply those right now. It's been such a rainy morning, which I love a rainy day. So we're just kind of like hanging out, just chilling. Back to the coffee talk. I have not had a good cup of coffee in like a week. I had one from Dunkin' Donuts yesterday. I ordered a cold brew, but when we came back from up north, visiting up north, my sister had run out of coffee beans and she never ordered any new ones. And I hadn't ordered any new ones. So this whole week, I've been waiting for my Thrive order. I ordered some coffee beans from Thrive to try. So there really wasn't any coffee in the house. Hopefully these beans are nice. They're like the Thrive market kind. I signed up for the annual membership just because it was such a good price. I was going to cancel and then they gave me an even better discount. So I was like, you know what, let me just keep it for a year. And I do actually buy stuff from there like laundry detergent. Uh, little things that I might not be able to find at the grocery store that's easier to find. You can get cool snacks, drinks, basically everything is there. And uh, this is not sponsored by any means at all because I know some people do like Thrive Market sponsorships. This is just something I bought on my own. Got some rosy chlorine free bleach. I'm gonna bring this back into the RV. I'm trying to like stock up on stuff once we move back so I have a stocked RV. And then I needed to get a new bottle because the one that I had from Grove, the sprayer kind of sucked. So. I think this one was like $9.99, pretty affordable, and I thought it was pretty cute. And this I use with like an all-purpose cleaner I get off of Amazon. I've been buying it for like the past more than a year at this point. It's a dupe, if you will, for thieves, and it's a lot more affordable. It's concentrated, so you dilute it in water, and then just use it for literally everything. It works for everything. Absolutely love this stuff. I get it on Amazon. And then the rest is kitchen stuff so here's the coffee i'm going to try this out this is their brand it says regeneratively grown organic colombian blend and i love like biscuity chocolate so this has notes of caramelly nutty milk chocolate give it a try and then i got golden flax seed like actual seeds that i want to incorporate into my diet the ones that are not milled or ground i want to grind them myself and then i got wait, what is this oh it's bee pollen I decided to buy some bee pollen, also incorporate that into my diet. So I just decided to get it off Thrive Market, add that into, you could do yogurt, smoothies, whatever, it's kind of like little toppings. And then I got cacao powder. This I wanna add to my coffee. So I got cacao nibs that I wanna add to like smoothies, 
or not smoothies, like top onto bowls, things like that, like a yogurt bowl. And these are also regenerative, regeneratively grown organic cacao nibs from Thrive Market. And then I got the regeneratively grown organic cacao powder. And cacao, you'd be surprised, has a lot of, a handful of vitamins and minerals. And I wanna add it into my coffee. So I'm gonna do that right now. And I wanna add a scoop every morning into my morning coffee. I used to do that but in general. I used to like sprinkle cacao powder to, into my lattes onto my espresso before I added the froth milk. But then I read about it and I was like, oh, that's really cool. So that's what I got from Thrive. Yep, that's everything. I'm gonna keep this box because I'm gonna take this into the RV. By the way, I got this really cute set. I don't know if I, I mentioned it in what I got in Prime Day Hall. It's like so comfy, it's like a wide leg. Waffle knit. I don't know, I really like it. I wear it like all the time now, ever since I got it. Let's try these beans out. I definitely taste the cacao. It's like a nice mocha flavor. The beans are not, they're good. So much better than like Starbucks or something like that. So I could drink this once a day and I'm trying to stick to like one a day. I have my colostrum powder here that I'll drink. And I'll do like matcha. I love the Chamberlain matcha. And then I have another one. I get it off of Amazon. Really good, I really like that one. I gotta get into drinking more water with electrolytes. But those are kind of like my drinks and I'm trying to change my habits slowly. I took a shower post pool and I thought I would include how I currently style my hair. It's super easy, simple. It's so much easier now with shorter hair. I'm definitely like short hair is definitely my thing. I've just always had naturally fine thin hair. So for me, short hair just works best. I cut it myself. My hair routine is the same. Usually I'll go in with a leave-in conditioner, do a few spritz, and then I'll do either a blow dry primer or a volumizing mousse which I'm gonna use the Color Wow one today, and then a hair oil. I do like to use a hair serum. I've been really liking this one from Boldify. If you have hormone-related hair thinning, this can only do so much, but I do like incorporating it and using this every single day. It just has good ingredients for the scalp. And then I'll go in with my leave-in conditioner, just a few spritz, because I do not want my hair to be too weighed down. And then I've been loving using the Orve Alchemy Hair Alchemy Fortifying Serum here. I've had this for a while. I've used about this much. And Orve products in general smell so good. They're really expensive. I don't know, this one just it really intrigued me in what it does. And I do feel like it works well. But I've had it, so I have been incorporating it back into my hair routine. I'll just kind of run it through. Then I'm going to go in with my Color Wild Volumizing Mousse here. This just adds a little bit of extra fluff without adding too much texture or anything. It's a very, very light, airy formula. You almost can't feel it in the hair, but it does add a little bit of something. And I like to finish off with a hair oil. I have this one from Olaplex, their bonding oil. Add a few drops into my palms, rub them together, and then distribute it mainly through the ends, concentrate on the ends, and then kind of bring it up a little bit. And that's kind of my hair routine. It's the same that it's been for a while. But what changed is how I style my hair. So if I were to air dry it, hair would not look cute at all. It would just be limp and not have much volume. So I personally do blow dry my hair. I have the Shark. The Shark makes it very easy for me to kind of it's like an all-in-one, it's a round brush plus a hair dryer, so I'm styling and doing it at the same time. You don't need to have a shark in order to style your hair. So what I'm gonna use is the Tymo hair dryer that I did a video on. This one here, the little one, the Air Hype Light. It just works really well. It's smaller, it's compact, and it works really great at drying the hair. And I have the nozzle attached right here, the magnetic nozzle, and then also a round brush. This is essential for of getting that root at the lifts and a nice blowout look because if I just go through and blow dry it it's not going to give me the look that I want. Let me go ahead and give it kind of like a quick blow dry just so that it's not like crazy wet. I'm going to work in sections. I'm going to start off with the bottom section, pin the rest of the hair up and out of the way and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my round brush and I like to hold it at the roots blow dry it here to give my roots a little bit of lift and then start pulling it through and blow drying it as I turn the round brush and then just let it go and it's literally it. Okay, 
So that's the first layer. If you don't want it to be like so curled in, what you can do is when you're dragging the blow dryer, keep it close and kind of like drag it down, downward so that it straightens it out. My hair will naturally straighten out and it won't be as luminous, so I like to do it this way. That way when it starts to kind of like flatten out, it still has a little bit of volume and fluff. But I do this for all the sections. And then when I get to the very tippy top right here, I use a round brush backwards and I'll show you guys the same exact thing as I have been doing. But I'll show you when I get to that section there. So I just do the same thing for the rest of the hair until I get to this section here. here what I do is I will start in the back and I take a slice horizontally going this way and then I make sure to brush it out first and I roll it backwards and dry it at the same time kind of like this pulling it forward a little bit wanted to you could kind of keep it rolled up put it in a roller I have mine in the RV I used to do that but I'm just gonna let it go when I had curtain bangs they fell a lot nicer but right now my hair is kind of all the same length but I, and I'm thinking to keep it that way this hairstyle in general just makes my hair look a lot more full and that's my current hair routine for my short fine thin hair it's been a couple hours just wanted to show you guys what the hair looks like once kind of like you know straightens out a bit but i had an amazon order come in that i'm really excited for their agendas came in for school so i'm using the same agendas it's just different color i love these agendas for school because i can write whatever subject i want here and then i like that the days go this way so i can write like lesson one lesson two lesson three it just works for what i'm looking for they do have so many different setups on amazon and they're like under ten dollars so Second year using these, love these, but what I'm excited for is this tiny little mini <laughs> vacuum right here that I got from my car. I have had so much stuff in my car for Amazon car organization ever since I knew that I'm going to be buying a car and I'm going to need to organize it. I've just been like really excited to do that. I got a few things already in there and then I've been having, I had this vacuum in my car for like quite a while. It comes with like a little bag it's so teensy tiny so you can literally store it in the trunk anywhere and it's usb rechargeable i don't need anything super strong it's like something you have in the car for how do i unfold it spin on oh it spins okay so we just spin it and then it comes with different attachments this little crevice one so if i want to like clean the crevices an extra filter again it's usb rechargeable so that's nice has a little light in the front so you can see what you're doing and then it has like this little obviously it's cheap it's like a $40 car vacuum you know my expectations are not that high so it has one of these parts right here for like doing the floor obviously if you want a good clean you're gonna need to get a good vacuum and then this brush head right here so let me bring this into the car I'll just take like the whole thing I'm gonna store it in here it is pretty toasty in here, but my car is my car is pretty clean, so I really don't have to clean it that much. But I'm just gonna like do this part here, and then show you guys some other car organization things that I picked up. I don't know. I mean, like for quick cleanups, I feel like this is nice, and then I like that it's USB rechargeable, so I could just like keep this in here for quick little cleanup, like you know, kids. I'm trying not to have my kids eat in the car, but if they do have snacks, the car gets so nasty so quick. A few other things that I got is this goop stuff here. This is great for like collecting dust and all the cracks and crevices. It's almost like slime for your car. And then I also got this pouch here with all these little knickknacks. So the pouch itself I got on Timu because Timu had just really good prices. I keep just random stuff in here. I have a hairbrush. I got this on Amazon. 
a lotion. I got my volcanic ash roller. These deodorizing wipes, which I keep a few in every single purse. And then I keep a few in here just to kind of like freshen up. I have two packs of these wet ones wipes. They're nice if you kind of want to clean your hands and you want and you don't have access to water. This little hand sanitizer and I have a refill that I got on Amazon just to like sanitize the hands. And then I got this little white case right here, which actually let me take it out. These I also got in Timu. Amazon has them, but they're a little more expensive on Amazon. And I got two of them. So I keep one in my purse, one in here. And it has like a little drawer compartment. And I keep hair ties in here. And then I have some floss, like individually wrapped floss. Because you never know when you're going to need a floss pick. And that's kind of everything that I keep in here. just wanted to buy a few things to have in the car. And then I also got a little mini first aid kit. I want to get a bigger one to keep in the trunk. But I got this one here just to have here in the front seat. And in here I have a Dramamine for the kids if they ever get car sick. A little mini manicure set. Never know when you're going to need one. And then some sanitizing wipes as well as some band-aids. And this I just kind of keep in here. I also have a little compartment where I keep chapstick. Oh, I haven't seen a buggy in such a long time. I got this visor tissue holder. And then I also got a car registration holder to put in here, put the registration in there. And then I also want to get some trunk storage. But yeah, I've just been really enjoying kind of like organizing my car and getting like random stuff for it. So I wanted to include that little tidbit. I'm just so excited to have my own car, you guys. You have no idea. But I hope you guys enjoy hanging out. I'm gonna finish this video here. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in future videos. Bye.